What is the difference between a shallow copy and deep copy in C-sharp? Well, these are two different ways of duplicating an object. Now, let's take a look at shallow copy. A shallow copy of an object copies all of the member references variables from the object into another. This means that if we make a change in the original object, that change will reflect the copied, newly created object as well. And shallow copy is used when you want to keep references to the original object. The deep copy, on the other hand, duplicates everything. It creates a new object and then for each child object also creates a copy of it. When using deep copy, the original and the newly created copied object do not reference the same object. That means the changes in the original object or the new one will not affect the other. Okay, let's take a look at some code example. Um, in this one, we are using shallow copy. I have created a class called sample class, which has a name field and public property of name, which is a string. Inside our main method, we create a new object of type a sample class. We assign the property to Peter. And here we do a shallow copy. We create a new object, which is called second object, and we copy the first one. Now, this means that each time we change the first object, the change will reflect, will also change the second object. Now, here we can print the name. It is going to print Peter, since this is what we assigned the name to. And here, if I change the first object name to Maria, and inside this line, we are actually printing the second object name. It is also going to print Maria. This means that the second, second object property name changed after we made a change to the first object. This is what the shallow copy does. The two objects, the second one and the first object, they point to the same object. Once you make a change here to the first object, the same change is going to be seen in the second object. Okay, now let's run the program quickly and we just want to make sure that this is exactly what we can see and as expected let me just make this bigger this line here prints peter since we assigned the name of the first object to peter here we assign we again change the name of the first object to maria and on this line we print the second object's name and we can see that is also maria Okay, let's take a look at our second example. I have created two classes. The first one is address with only one property, which is treat. The second one is our sample class with two properties, name and home address. Now, inside our main method, we create the first object. We assign the name to John. We assign the home address to street 123 Main Street. Then we create our second object. But here, instead of shallow copy, we use a deep copy. And if you remember, the deep copy actually creates a new object and then recursively adds copies of the child objects of the original object. And this is what these two lines actually do. Now, when using deep copy, if we make a change to the first object, this change will not change the second object at all. You can see on this line, we change the name of the first object which used to be John, now we change it to Jane. We change the home address street, but if we print the second object name and home address street, it is still going to print John and 123 Main Street. Since we use deep copy and changes to the first object, the original object do not change the second object. This was another quick tutorial that looked into the differences between shallow and deep copy in C-sharp. Hopefully it's going to help you decide when to use either one in your code. Thank you for watching.